Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, it's actually been a long time since the last part of this video and now. And I do apologize for the long waits in between videos. I know I haven't uploaded in a while because uh, I've actually been sick. So I do apologize for the lack of updates. But now I'm back, and in the intervening time period, I've gotten a chance to explore the level and figure out a solution. So let me show you what I've got. Basically, what I did is I figured out that there are nine blocks in here, and that you have to figure out where you need to sacrifice them in order to get the chips that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you right now pretty much um, where they need to be sacrificed. So let me just go ahead and start building stuff. Um, I've actually had several failed attempts <laughs> with this level. I, it's been kind of a little bit embarrassing, actually. Um, but before I get to the block sacrifices, I probably should just go and get all the chips that don't require block sacrifices. So, yeah, let's just start with this. I'm going to put a block there. I'm going to put another one where I'm standing right now. Or, at that point, just a few minutes ago. Um, let me just get another one here. Eventually, I'm going to get these all out. I don't think there's a single chip in this level that requires all the blocks. I thought there was, because in my last attempt at doing this, I came up against a chip that seemed like it required all the blocks, but it's actually just required a lot of timing. Well, okay, I shouldn't say a lot of timing. It required a great uh, deal of speed in order to get to a block that needed to be ferried before you could uh, use it for a fireball to bounce off of it again. You'll see what I mean when we get to it, though. Um, let's see, I need to put an, I need to put this there, and then it'll go up there. So let me get another block to put where that one was. And yeah, I'll show you where the blocks need to be sacrificed, but I don't really want to waste any more time, because this video is going to be super long, so I want to make sure that we get through this pretty quickly. And yes, I do know that I'm not going through this the optimal way, and I do apologize for that. If this video has been really boring, I'm sorry, but... I want to play these levels the way Rock Debt intended for them to be played. <clears throat> and I know that he's not a big fan of, you know, optimization and all that. And in this particular case, the level is, after all, untimed. And I just kind of want to... How should I put this? I just want to honor that as far as the playing style he enjoys and, you know, um, getting an honest reaction to the levels and, you know, what a first-time player might think of them or even a long-time player. I hope that makes sense. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clone. Okay, can I get there in time? Yes, there you go. Right on time. I'm sure there was another way to do that that involved many more blocks, but I'm not going to do it. So yeah, I am using a little bit of speed tricks here. So yeah, getting the chips that don't require block sacrificing, not too hard. Thankfully, it's pretty easy. That yellow key, we're going to have to sacrifice some blocks for. I'll show you how in a little while. Alright, now the next one's going to be tricky. And I thought you needed to sacrifice a block for this one, but actually you don't. You have to put blocks here, 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 and to the space to, on the space to my right in order to get this one. It's the chip that's behind the bomb over there to my right. Yeah, see, originally I thought what you had to do is you had to do push a block here and push a block there. But no, you have to do some zigzags and go out of your way, which I think is a brilliant idea, just because you wouldn't think of that originally. So, I like that concept, Rock. Great job. Let me just go ahead and press this button again. Okay, I'm going to need to bring two more blocks down for this one. Thankfully, once you've attempted this level enough times, it goes by a lot faster when you record it for real, so that's been pretty nice. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm still kind of a little stuffed up, so um, I'm sorry about that. One thing I will say about this level uh, is that my opinion of it has changed pretty drastically since I first started recording it, because... When I first started recording it, I looked around, and it looked like a really open level that really wasn't quite as, should I say, on rails as Cloner's Maze. You know, there really weren't preset paths that you had to take, and you were forced to take, you know, and stuff like that. But in actuality, there are paths that you were forced to take. Uh, and there's, because, you know, there are certain numbers of blocks that you have to use, and such, you know, it's... Okay, why did I do that? I didn't need to do that. 
force of habit, I suppose. And then there are certain paths you have to take just by virtue of water being there, and you, you can't fill up that water because you need those blocks later on. So the fact that you have a limited number of blocks really does wonders for making sure that this level is rigid. Now there is an alternate way I discovered to get one of the chips uh, it's there on the lower left area, and I don't know if Rock intended for that to be the case. I'll show you when we get there. It's because I ran out of blocks when I attempted, or I didn't have enough blocks, should I say, when I attempted it before. So I came up with a solution on the spot that involved less blocks, and thankfully it was a little bit better, although given the design of that area, it looks like that wasn't what was intended. I'll show you what I mean when I get there, though. But yeah, I mean, I love this level. I mean, it's a great rigid level, and yet it's really open, too, and it makes you feel like there's a lot of different ways you can do stuff. And thankfully, there actually are a lot of ways you can do things, so that's a really big plus, and I like that a lot. Okay, I'm just going to go and, uh, where should I go next? I think I'm going to take care of this area here next, because I need to, uh, yeah, I need to get a block over there. So let's, let's try that area next. I am just going to try to get these out in some way. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm not really with it right now. Still waking up and everything. But thankfully it's a good morning today. I am really excited. I'm feeling a lot better. At least for the most part. Let me just go ahead and do this here. I need to clear those bombs out over there just so I can push blocks through that area, which I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. Now, what should I do next? Okay, later on I'll have to return back here once I uh, start sacrificing blocks to put a block on the edge and do this, so... Actually, I could probably do that now. Let's go ahead and do that now. Because I don't believe there's a chip you need all the blocks for. See, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this area for the time being. That's right, I'm blowing up some bombs and pushing some blocks. Chips challenge style, just blowing stuff up. I love some world blast. That's what I love in life. World blast. Push some stuff around all the time in the world. Get some blocks to the Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I don't need that. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, get another block down there. I don't know why I keep hitting the clone button twice, even though I only need to do it... Wait a minute. Yeah, let me go ahead and get a block there. I only need to do it once. Or, I need to do it only once. Rather. Okay. Let's try this out. Let's get a block down here. Thankfully, this one is extractable, so we don't have to worry about sacrificing it. Yet, at least. This would sure be a really interesting level to optimize, I must admit. I mean, there's a lot of different orders in which you can do everything. I mean, there's... the I don't know if this level can be busted. I mean, I'm sure maybe there's some potential for it by you know, creating a really clever path that allows everything to collide with each other. But the water spaces would... Well, it would almost certainly cancel out that possibility. Okay, now the next two need to go over here because we're going to need to get a chip up in the upper right. Now the next thing I'm going to take care of are all these bombs that are guarding this area. I'm going to try that out. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this path right here with this wall. Now I tried a path where I put a block there, there, here, here, up here, up here, and like yeah, I mean, you can totally see that, that that was just, you know, way too many blocks, so I'm not doing that. So let's go ahead and bring some more down. I think there's there's the extractable one, right? I think we still have that, got that one down there. We still got these. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... How should I do this? Okay, I need to find a way... 
Hmm. How should we do this? Sorry, I got distracted there. I just got a text from a friend. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. Put a block there. That eliminates the need for another block. Actually, I could have done that earlier. I could have just put it there and then just put the two. Yeah, I could have done that instead of having to put them both up here like that. Okay, let me take care of that bomb for now. I'm going to try to create a loop of sorts here. That's the thing about this level. You have to sometimes go out of your way in order to use up um, less blocks. Which seems counterintuitive to an optimizer like me, but in, in the end it actually saves you. It really does save you a lot. And I don't know if Rock did that intentionally, maybe just to trip us optimizers up. That would be really clever if he did, though, because I think that's a brilliant concept, you know, having you out of your way to accomplish something with uh, fewer resources. Okay, I'm going to try to get another block over there. Let's try this out. Okay, there you go. I'm going to put that there. Now it's going to go up and loop, so let's try that out. I'm going to clone about five, maybe. Now they're going to come up here, and they're going to go through this path. Okay, good. Okay, that's going well. Okay, now I need to put the blocks over here now. So, let me just get this for the time being. I'll come back for that later on. Let me just put that there for now. And I'll clone three fireballs. One, two, three. Dun 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 Okay, that's a Sesame Street reference. I don't know if anyone will get that, but it was one of my favorite Sesame Street sketches when I was a kid, showing this Rube Goldberg machine. And, yeah, I was totally enamored with the Chips Challenge-style Rube Goldberg machines when I was a kid. And, like, this ball going down through it and tripping up all these little flags and stuff that had the numbers 1, 2, and 3 on them. And then there was be some kid that would just say, one, two, three, you know. And I always thought that was so funny. And they had these, this hilarious music that sounded all 80s, you know, maybe 70s, depending on when it was made. It was probably made in the 70s. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these up here. I should have done that first. Okay. No, wait, not that. Hang on. I need this down here for now, and then I'm going to ferry it up there. That's what I was talking about earlier with the ferrying. Okay, so, I think we got a good solid foundation here. I, do we still have the extractable block down there? I think we do. Okay, we got those. Is that still down here? No, it's not. Okay, oh, that's right. We, we took that with us. I forgot. Okay, I still need to blow up that bomb. I totally forgot about that. Silly me. That bomb, not only that bomb, but that bomb. Okay, I really should take care of that after this this challenge is over. Okay, so now let me just retrieve one more block from the top area. We got three blocks left over here, so we're in good shape right now. We're doing well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy and put him over here somewhere. It was where that other block used to be, but is no longer there. So let's try that out. Let's see how this works. There we go. Alright, I think the the setup is all primed and ready, so let's try this out. Oh wait, I should have only cloned one at a time. Duh. Okay, one more. I don't know what I was thinking there, cloning three of them, because I, I should have known that was not going to work. I don't know if Rock intended for the ferrying of that block to be uh, intentional or not, but I think it's a really funny concept. It saves a block, so I think that's kind of cool. Well, actually, no, you have to, because then you'd have to sacrifice two blocks on the edge had you not ferried. Yeah, hmm. So it probably was intentional. I, I'd have to assume that it is. Okay, is this where it goes down? Yes, okay, good. Okay, now I'm just going to reposition these guys over here. Back where they used to be. I should have done this earlier, I'm sorry I forgot. Okay, there we go. Let me get this one over here. Hmm. 
Okay, this is good. We got it over there. Good, good, good. <clears throat> All right, and that goes down. All right, so we got another three chips out of the way. Sweet. Okay, we're making good progress here, everybody, and... Now that I think about it, there's one other non-sacrificial area that I forgot to tackle, so I'm hoping I have enough blocks for it. I think I do. Oh, wait, no, I did tackle it. It was this area. Okay, good. All right, so that leaves us eight ships left, and I know where four of them are. Okay, four of them are there, and the other four are down here. I just want to make sure I count for everything, because I don't want to waste more blocks... Oh yeah, three of them are here, and one of them's up there, and I have to use a block on it only. So, I'm going to save that one up there for last, just because it requires no fireball mayhem in order to get to it. So, here's how I got to this. Now, what I thought he had to do is, I have to put a block there to sacrifice, right? Because I have to get a fireball in there, and also I can use that block to get to the blue key. Now, I thought what you had to do in order to get to it is, eventually, you'd have to put a block up here above me... So I thought, okay, so that block would go here, you'd put another block there, and then somehow you couldn't just put a block there, so you'd have to do another zigzag thing where you put a block there, 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 you know, here, or no, here, sorry, and, you know, up here and up here. That was too many blocks. So I came up with a much simpler solution that still required the same number of block sacrifices, but not the same uh, number of blocks. So I hope this is right. I... I think it's a really good way, good thing to have alternate solutions here, especially in a level like this. But what I decided to do is just to use this right here. I'm just going to go do this. I'm going to put a block there, and we just after that, just going to push it and make dirt to get rid of this bomb, and then put, uh, pack that dirt and make floor to get rid of the other chip. So, in case you can't visualize that, let me show you right now. Okay, let's try that out. It only requires three blocks, and two of them are the sacrifices, so... Sacrifices I sound like I'm in some temple. Don't mean for that to be the case. Okay. Okay, so that was easy. We got that. Seven ships left. We're doing good. Awesome. Okay, now just put that down. We can get to that ship, and after that, we can just bridge right across. So it's pretty simple. It's a much easier way than bringing tons of blocks down there and wasting time, so I'm happy about that. Based on the level design, it seems like that other solution was the intended one, but I like this one a lot better. Okay, so five chips left. Alright, I know, I know what to do next. I need to get that yellow key. Okay, that's going to require the same path as when we first started. Which is something like the up there's okay, I got another block I know what to get, and I think there's another block I left somewhere around here, right? There's I should have four blocks in my possession, I think. Um I know there's is there are there two one two blocks up there? Right. Let me just check that. I Yeah, there are two. Okay, good. I was like I need four blocks for this, guys. I thought I had them up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, simply put this up there, this over here. Okay, I think we got it. Now, you're probably wondering, in case you haven't already, how do we get to that red key over there? Well, as it turns out, you don't even need it. And this is totally intentional, by the way. Um, because that red key is a total red herring. That's right, you don't need it at all. And thank goodness for that too, because it really is kind of a pain to get to. And now I'm wondering, do you even... Wait a minute. Is there a block left over? It seems like there is. Maybe I could have gotten to the red key after all. Hmm. Wait, no, 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 because I need to bridge... That's right, okay. Never mind. Yeah, you do need to get to the red key using the alternate route, which is through the yellow door. See, just bridge across that way, and you should be a-okay. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just go around because that's easier. So yeah, this level is amazing. That red herring had me stuck for a long time. I gotta admit, that was really brilliant, Rock. Great job. I love this level. It was amazing. So, definitely one of my favorites in the set. Definitely a CCLP-worthy level. I mean, I'm really satisfied playing it. It takes a while to solve, but it really is worth the, uh, worth all the time, you know, and, and everything. And it's a really fun level. I, I really enjoyed it a lot, Rock. So let's go ahead and head on to the exit now. We can just get our flippers here. Hopefully not get clobbered at, by that ball. That, that ball is the only thing in this level that, to me, seemed a little out of place, just because this level is not meant to be anything dodging-related or timing-related. At least, in my solution, there was timing, but I'm guessing that may not have been the intended solution. So anyhow, that's it for World Blast, and we can now move on to Judas's last move. Now, Rock has told me a lot about this level, and he's really looked forward to me playing it, so here we go, everybody. Judas, let's check this out. He also said that this is basically like Contradictions 2, essentially. So, looks like there's a tank button over there. Okay, how in the world do we... Hmm. How do you get the tanks to switch again? See, the problem is, is that I'd have to get the toggle button to switch before the tank button switches, so is there just something I'm missing here? I... Hmm. Or do you have to stay here? There we go. Okay, you have to go back. There we go. Okay, so you have to press that tank button multiple times. So that's pretty easy. Okay, now I have to get him back over... Wow, this is pretty interesting, I gotta admit. Okay. Now I have to get him back over to the top area so that he can clone, because there's a clone button there. Oh, wait. Oops. Hang on. I miscounted, guys. <laughs> this level is really interesting. The, wow, I, I really like this. Now, Rock, I don't know if I just mentioned this or not, because my brain is totally dead, but Rock mentioned that this level basically amounts to contradictions, too. So... I really like that concept a lot, so I'm happy to be playing this right now. Okay, now, let's go through. Okay, here we go. Okay. There's something cloning pink balls, I guess. Alright, come on, guys. Okay, there we go. Now, how do I get to that ship over there? It looks like I need to press a clone button, which may be that one on the right. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, we got that taken care of. Huh, so do you have to get the teeth to... Okay, here we go. We can just get him on the trap button here. Wow, this is a really awesome level. I like this design. I, everything about this level just screams win. I, I, to, I love it. It's a great level. Okay, now we got that taken care of, so what's the point of going up here? And why is there a thin wall there? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oops. That was not a good move. I guess that was indeed Judas's last move, so... Yeah. Okay. Try again. Let's see how this works. Okay, just stay here. There we go. Okay, now let's try this again. Go this way. I'm sure there's a faster way to do that. I think I just made some extra moves I shouldn't have had to make. There's got to be a better way to do this. I know there is. Okay, so we got the balls. Okay, let's go down over here, get this. Then down, wait. Did I just slide him? I think I did. Yeah. Uh oh 
I hope he doesn't come back. There we go. Okay, I need to get him to do the, the tank again. Okay, I hope that was enough. Uh-oh. How do we get him to... This is not good. Wait, I just need him to do... Yeah, there we go. Toggle door. Okay, as long as the toggle door is open, we should be A-OK. -okay. Or are we? Hang on. There we go. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay, come back and press that one more time. Come on. There we go. Okay, now go over here. Come on, man. This way. No, don't press that again. Come on, get over here. Oh, wait, I need to do this, right. Okay, now, now let's try this. I hope this works. I really hope this works. Come on, get, let's get over here, press the button, and we'll be best buds, Judas. Now, I wonder where Judas came from. Is that, like, from a song? Like, it, is that from the Lady Gaga song, or, like, is, is that, like, a Judas from some sort of story? Or like, is it from the Bible? Is it from... Is like some random character from something I don't know about. I've been wondering about that. Okay, now let's get him to press that again. Except that's totally not what I had in mind. Oops, no, don't do that. No, I don't want that to come up there. There we go, go down that way. Wait, no, that's not what I... No, not that way. Come on. How did you do this before? There's, there had to be a way you, you did this before. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's right. Okay, press that button again. Come on, blue button. There we go. No, 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 no. Not that way. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh, he's going to come down here and, come on, go back there, thank you, thank you, okay, good, okay, good, 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 we made it, we made it, okay, hopefully this will work, I'm hoping this will work, good, okay, I think we're okay, guys, I, I just want to make sure that our teeth buddy there didn't do anything rash, too rash, Okay, let's see here. Okay, now open up the toggle. Okay, now I need you to go over here. No, 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 not that way. This way. I'm running out of time. <laughs> okay. Just to be safe, I'm just going to wait here again for him to press that tank button just so I won't be doomed. Okay, now. Okay, good. I think... No, 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 no. Okay, close. Good. Okay. Wait, I need him back here. That's right. I... There we go. Okay, now. Come back this way, buddy. I know you want to. There we go. Now let's get out of here. This was an awesome level. Great job, Rock. I love the concept. I love how you can have just enough room to see the teeth when you need to. I mean, so many great things about this level. I loved it to death. Great job, man. I don't know what that thin wall over there was for, but hey, I'm not complaining. Oh, wait, we need the... Uh-oh! No, we need the tank. No! <laughs> no! I messed up again. No! Oh, man. Okay, guys, I'll be back when I solve it. Okay, guys, I think I finally got it. Now, the only challenge here was just figuring out where the tank needed to be in order to make this work, which it needs to be in that position it is right now, uh, at the very end. You can't have it be anywhere else. So besides that, that's the only really big challenge of this level. I gotta make sure the toggle door's in that position, 
And now I'm just going to get the tank to switch. Wait, no, I don't want it to switch again. I want it to stay there. Okay, now let's exit, because the tank needs to be in that position. Which I guess makes sense, because it is to the right, and the tank at the end needs to be to the right as well. So let's make a run for it! Go, 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 go! Come on, outrun the teeth! Go, 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 go! So that's what the thin wall was for at the end. Now we know. Run! Awesome! We are done with Judas's last move, and now in the next video, we will tackle the final level voices. So I will see you then.